Hi, I'm Aman Ladia, a 17-year-old entrepreneur and developer from Bombay, India. I've been a product developer for the last four years and I've developed several products ranging from an AI-enabled home automation device to a safety jacket for riders, both of which have won awards at the international level and have been recognized by the Department of Innovation in India. My latest venture is a cryptocurrency startup called Liquid. Liquid is a one-of-a-kind blockchain startup that aims to improve interoperability between the crypto and the fiat world. When I meet people and I tell them about cryptocurrencies, I tell them about Bitcoin, the first thing they tell me is, Aman, isn't that what's used on the dark web to buy drugs and make illegal transactions? Unfortunately, this is what cryptocurrencies have made to be look like today. And this perception, in my opinion, needs to be changed. And this is what Liquid's doing. It's making cryptocurrencies transparent, easy to access. And in doing so, it's made people more aware about it. It's made people understand that cryptocurrencies are no different from regular money. And finally, we've given the power of cryptocurrencies not to anonymous entities on the internet or not to big financial organizations, but we've given it to the people, everyday people who can use cryptocurrencies the way they would use normal cash. And that's the difference Liquid's making today. Some people that I've always looked up to, people who I always thought were visionaries, people who would understand my idea. But frankly, when I went there and I spoke to some of them, I was in for disappointment. Some of them just blankly turned me down. Otherwise, others said, you know what, Aman, it's a good idea, but let's leave this aside for now. You're 16, just starting off. Do you really want to start off on such a difficult path, a path that's not really been explored before? Yeah, I was really lucky to have these mentors who always told me, you know what, Aman, if you want to be the next Steve Jobs or the next Bill Gates, you've got to do something different. These guys didn't go around doing something that people have already done. They started new industries. These guys faced rejection hundreds of times. And frankly, from that moment onwards, I have written emails. 90%, 95% of them have been disappointments. But I always look forward to that one email that's positive, that one meeting where I think something can happen.